Yo, welcome to another video. It's your boy Cash, and we're back for another week on the YouTube channel. I want to shout out to everyone who's been liking, leaving comments in the comment section, also subscribing. You are being seen. I appreciate you guys for always being here and supporting the channel. And we're going to keep growing this community because it's good vibes and we're trying to create good topics and conversations where we all can learn and grow from them. So with that being said, we got another video this week here for you. So let's just jump right into it. So in this week's video, I want to talk about your life beyond the nine to five, actually finding fulfillment beyond your work life, actually finding out who you are beyond the job description that you have for 40 to 60 hours a week. Because truthfully, to me, I think in this Western society within America, we allow our jobs to be like our full personality and we allow this to become our character. And we're more than that, honestly. So maybe some of you watching this already know how to have that balance in between your work life and your personal life. Maybe some people don't. Maybe you haven't even had the awareness to realize like you're over committing your life to fulfill someone else's dreams when you can actually find some space in your own personal time. And I don't want to say like it needs to be fulfillment towards dreams, but like hobbies and activities that you find purpose to help you feel like your true self and you're more aligned in your true identity. It's easy to get carried away in this hustle mentality in today's society where it's everything's just like go, 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 like clock in, clock out, go to sleep, wake up, do it again. And to me, that's the fastest way to burn out, job fatigue, and living a life that you feel unfulfilled where 40 years pass by and you look up and you'll have this conversation of like you gave all your time and healthy years away to a job that was really sucking your soul dry, honestly. And why wait to retire at a certain time to start living your life when you have the best health that you possibly could have right now? You have the best youth or time on your side. The point that I'm trying to get across right now is that the best time to do something for yourself is right now in this moment. Obviously, it's not easy to start making such drastic changes in our lives because there's pre-existing obligations that we have to manage and take care of. Um, for example, housing, car notes, children. Um, there's just things in our life that take up so much of that responsibility and the additional time that we may have to give to ourselves that we kind of have to find ways to set schedule blocks in our time to prioritize ourselves. From my perspective, seeing how hard it is to come across opportunities, and even if you have the opportunity to, let's say, land a dream job that you've been chasing after, it doesn't mean that you get that position because the competition in the marketplace is so saturated. It's at an all time high right now. In regards to that, there's also random layoffs that people are experiencing. And if you happen to be caught in one of those positions where a job didn't land or unfortunately you were laid off, a huge part of that identity of that you were chasing after for that field of work, you can lose a lot of yourself because we put so much of who we are into our identity which is why I'm recommending and also encouraging people to look outside of these nine to five jobs or salary jobs, work from home jobs, and figure out who you are, figure out what are your passions and your hobbies that ignite you. And it's not that the end goal needs to be like you have a successful social media channel, you end up becoming famous. But to me, when we stay true to who we are, we help eliminate anxiety, depression, loneliness, we start to galvanize and uh, galvanize a community of like minded individuals who resonate with each other. And instead of living like such a copy and paste lifestyle of go to work, come back home, get something to eat, go to sleep, wake up, do it again. Time is passing by so fast that you'll look up and you're just like, who am I? You've given so many amazing years away. Take the time now to lock in, dial in, figure out who you are, do a little bit of journaling and start to figure out how can I have a better work-life balance to truly understand who I am and share that with the world. Or you can just share for private. Not everything needs to be on display. Currently with the advancement of technology, I feel like it has also brought us closer together. In the same sentence, I'm going to say it has separated us as well, which is crazy to say, because 
we have so much access to people's lives based on what they share through social media. And sometimes that is just primarily a highlight reel of what's going on in someone's life. But that comparison is the thief of your joy. And if you're feeling envious or you're comparing yourself to someone else's lifestyle, we're less likely to feel like we want to socialize or interact with that individual. Maybe I'm just speaking from my own personal experiences, but I feel like to a certain degree, this resonates with us all because how can we have so much access to everyone, but Okay, one second. All right, we're going to keep recording here. Um, this is the second time this light has gone out. I think I got a defective light here. And it's funny because I'm like, here's the real side of like YouTube. You know, you try to make content and then it's just like, oh, we're going to have some technical issues today, which is all good. But back to what I was talking about in regards to being so connected through social media, but also feeling distant at the same time, like there's like this loneliness epidemic. And to me, the way we overcome that is to discover who we are. So that comes back to balancing that work-life balance where you can have the expression of your personality to shine through all the noise. And those people that resonate with your character can latch on to that and say, here's a person that I identify and have shared interests and values, which leads to growing a community of true friendships, um, long lasting friendships to have the opportunity to go the distance of time. So by exploring all of this, you're actually taking the time to embrace creativity, seek out new experiences, um, also allowing yourself to have mindfulness and gratitude. Nothing in life is, uh, nothing in life is a guarantee. And so since that statement remains true, over all the years of existence, you know, here's a reminder for us all to take advantage of our downtime instead of, you know, binge watching Netflix. Maybe we take the time to explore ourselves furthermore and see what untapped potential still remains within us. I don't want this to come off as like, oh, you haven't given everything you have to life. This is just something that I'm encouraging for us to do for our own personal benefit. Not everything has to be in a strive for greatness or a strive of like hustling and trying to obtain more. I think the biggest thing I want people to take away from this video is to find that internal peace and to find that your sense of joy and gratitude by exploring your own endeavors, by actually finding the time to prioritize yourself. I'll say it again, in this culture, so much of our time is giving to someone else because you're either in the service industry, your job is demanding, um, you have a boss that's always reminding you that you're not meeting expectations or monthly quotas, thresholds, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, that list can go on forever. However, despite having like bills and responsibilities, like life is more than just trying to meet numbers, metrics, thresholds. There is space in life for us to enjoy who we are and to enjoy who we're becoming. And there's not like a set figure or a mountain top that we climb and say like, I've made it. It's just the ongoing process of self-discovery. And so that's why I say beyond the nine to five, find out who you are, find the fulfillment in your life, find the joys that you haven't tapped into just yet and figure out what more can you give to yourself this is the best way to explore self-care mental health um, and just wellness overall so uh, i want to say thank you all if you made it to this part of the video thank you all for watching today i hope you like and subscribe and share this with a friend who may need to hear this this is possibly a conversation you just had recently and um, i apologize about the light going out this is like the second video has happened but uh I think it's more so just like authentic life happens and we just keep going on with with life as it is. So once again, my name is Cash. Like and subscribe, share this with a friend and I'll see you in the next video. Peace and love. Catch you guys.